Yo, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to be opening up two of the latest Pokemon promo products. So first off, we got the All Beetle V Box. And this looks like it has, what, two Vivid Voltage, one Darkness of Blaze, and that's possibly Sun and Moon or Guardians Rising. I'll have to double check when we open it up. And then we have this Treasure Tin. So pretty much, uh, you get all these packs in there. We're going to open them up, see what we get. Some stickers, promo cards as well, and I'll show you those in per uh, when we get them out as well. We get a cool Charizard V Max. Shame we don't get any Charizard V Max, but we do get something Charizard V Max in this tin. So yeah, let's open these all up together and see what we're gonna get from the two latest products. I'm gonna start with the Orbital V Box first. So let's do it one at a time. Just gonna do one take. Should be quickish. It's not too many packs in this video. Uh, I hate opening these boxes. How do you guys open them? Uh, boom, we got the Orbital V promo, same as the one in um, Vivid Voltage, however, an alternative artwork to it. And then boom, so we got the Jumbo version, of course, but it won't really fit on the camera. So there is the V promo, there you go. And then if you want to get that in the online game, there is a code card for you. But oh, this is not too bad. So we're getting Burning Shadows in this box. We got two packs of Vivid Voltage and also Darkness Ablaze. So a good way to get some Burning Shadows, that is a popular set. It's a set with worth a bit over retail. Darkness Ablaze, obviously a good set. We got a Charizard artwork as well. So that might be a sign for something to come. But let's get into opening. So we're gonna open these four. I'm four, let me do two of the latest products. Obviously the, the Treasure Tin came uh, released the same day as the Vivid Voltage Booster Boxes. I did put an order for some. Uh, but for some reason it got cancelled due to allocations etc so I just bought it from one retailer and the vivid voltage box I wasn't a fan I was gonna buy so many of them because um, I don't know why I think I ordered quite a few but I just wanted to open one just to show you what comes inside so I ordered just ordered one from a retailer again but I'll creamy and whimsical imagine we get something awesome in this pack right now we never know what we can get Ooh. one two three Four, sorry, I don't know why I stopped that. Three, but we got Alistair, Me Tang, Kakuna, Chatot, Clobopus, Skiddo, Sharpit, Ferrisseed, Lee Staff, and Garbodor. So nothing out of our Viv Voltage packs, unfortunately. But will we have something good in the rest of the packs? Uh, that's why I thought let me buy one just to show you guys what, you, what packs you can get uh, What's the promo card look like etc uh, In the future we probably will open like three four five of those boxes anyways uh, And then give you guys a nice pull rate But for now we'll just open one and show you what comes inside But oh at least we got hit here we got Galissapod Hollow Rare in this pack So first hit imagine we get the Charizard Rainbow So Burning Shadows it's like it's like Champions Path, I would say. Everything in the set is not worth too much apart from the Charizard, which is about 3,000 in PSA 10. A PSA, I mean raw, about two, three, four, five hundred. Depends the condition, because the print quality isn't the greatest. Yeah, still not improved, but it's better than most print qualities I've seen. Uh, so it's very hard to get the PSA 10 if you're buying any recent prints of Burning Shadows, but nothing. So only one hit out of four packs in that. Or Beetle V box, but let's get into this one right here. I'm not sure if I can fit this in frame, but we're just gonna give it a rip. So boom, there goes the packaging. So you get a little lunch box if you never knew. I don't know how I'm gonna show you this. This is the lunch box. Uh, you open it there. They do these lunch boxes, treasure tins all the time. But the problem I have with this, this is why I didn't buy too many, is because the promo cards are the exact same from the Sword and Shield main set, the base set. Uh, but they made them a hollow. They gave them the Cosmos hollow pattern instead so you don't get the sword and shield hollow pattern which is like a stripey effect as you can see um, they gave it the Cosmos promo hollow foil so the same stuff you get in sword and shield but just hollow same what they did with the last treasure tin they made the oh let me get these out they made the starters a hollow version instead of a non hollow uh, from the sword and shield base but this is probably the coolest bit of this set a Charizard gold coin uh, this is a VMAX Charizard. We've seen this in the Japanese uh, Charizard VMAX deck, but now we got a coin of it in English, a bigger coin. The Japanese coins are quite small. We actually have the Japanese coins on our eBay, but boom, let's go through the promos. We've got Rillaboom Hollow. And as you can see from the set number and everything on the bottom, it's just from the uh, base set and they just made it a promo hollow. So they usually use this Cosmos Hollow only on the promo cards, so you can tell the difference between main set and uh, promo uh, but boom let's get these out 
and then we got a code card whoever gets that you'll be lucky get the charizard but let's show you the packs after the packs are right here but we have some cool goodies in these boxes as always nothing for me i think great for kids but let's get them all out anyways you get some sticker sheets you get a charizard there i might have to stick that on something but well, it's really badly cut why why not cut around it why they make it square like if you're gonna stick that pikachu on something why is it gonna be like that but then oh my computer's going off but then we also have the starters on the sticker sheet they really cut it really badly because it's not flush around it uh, there we have some more Charizards and Pikachus, different sizes. A bit lazy with the graphics, they should have done more designs, but again, starters again. Um, but yeah, diff wait, it's just the same but different sizes. I think they're getting lazy, they just make the sizes smaller or bigger. Uh, these these sheets are good, I use these to write down the prices of, for videos. So like when I'm editing my videos, I write the price, and then I work out the total. I always use these awesome notepads. Uh, and then you get a little mini binder, it's, it fits about 60 cards, it should. But you got Charizard one side, Pikachu the other, that will be available on eBay. I need to start selling these on eBay, uh, maybe one day we'll start doing that. But yeah, packs, packs. Okay, two Vivid Voltage, that's good. Well, wait, where's the Cosmic Eclipse they promised us? We've got Sun and Moon, we've got Burning Shadows and Sword and Shield. If you check this, it shows you in two Darkness Ablaze, one Cosmic Eclipse, Sun and Moon and Crimson Invasion. I guess the voltage is a bit better. Uh, what, what are we missing? So, uh, we got the Sun and Moon. So these, we don't have a Crimson Invasion and a, what you call it? We don't have Crimson Invasion and Cosmic Eclipse, but we get Burning and Sword and Shield instead. Uh, so they're not too bad and also dark instead of darkness place we've got vivid voltage I think is much better because I think we already got six Charizards from um, What you call it six VMAX Charizards from darkness of blaze personally So uh, having some vivid voltage is always better for myself if, like if I'm getting in a promo product But yeah, just to let you guys know that's a good thing. I open this on camera so you guys know Oh, we're not getting what's on the package what they're promoting or advertising on the box um, but yeah we got Sobu, Rhyhorn, Roselia, Noctowl, and Ninetales. So nothing in Sword and Shield. We opened a treasure tin, the older one, not long ago. And we got something crazy from the Sword and Shield pack. So make sure to check. Burning Shadow is a good set. Like I just mentioned, you get the uh, can pull the Rainbow Charizard if you pull that. Very good, very good card. But what's the print quality saying? It's just the energy. Let's have a look at this one. Much better print quality. Not as bad as some of the stuff I've seen. Uh, but yeah, Pikachu, Crow Grunk, Magikarp, Meow, Whimsicott, Hutu, and oh, just a Persian. So now we're on Sun and Moon. So Sun and Moon, they're reprinting heavy. They used to reprint Steam Siege uh, evolutions to throw into promo boxes, but now they're pre uh, reprinting Sun and Moon to throw into these promo boxes now. It's, it's all right set. There's some good rainbow. There's a lot of good rainbows in this set. It's very slept on set. So I'm, I'm sure I'm, I'm not um, annoyed that they reprint in this to be honest, but anything's better than Steam Siege. Still three packs, nothing there. Uh, let's see. At least we got um, Viv Voltage. Pull rates seem to be better in Viv Voltage. Obviously, we didn't get anything in the first box. So let's see if we can get anything now. Uh, but we got a Charmeleon, Pinchurin, Trambique, Milsery. Hoop Hoop, uh, Ninkada, Wizma, Drillba, Whimsicott, Natrick. So this is the last pack now. If we get nothing here, that means five packs with zero hits. And uh, that's not a great way to buy it. Like, that's not a great way to advertise these products. Uh, like Even if you're a kid, like you're spending £25, £26, whatever the retail was for that product, and get zero hits, you're not going to be most happy, are you? But yeah, Clefairy, Alistair, explodes. So... Five packs, zero hits. We make, we take the losses, we take the L's, so you guys don't have to. Uh, but literally, all we got this apart from two promo boxes, so nine packs in total. Uh, but then we also get the promos, which kind of make it worth it. I guess this is like the runner-up prize. We got these Rillaboom, uh, Cinderace, and Italian Gala starters, um, Hollows from the Sword and Shield. It's not even a promo, it's just a reprint. But then we got the All Beetle promo, which is a alternative art of the one in the Voltage, and yeah. Let me show you that. I'm trying to look at our Vivid Voltage recent pulls if we pulled one. And I don't even think we have a regular Orbital. Beetle. So we have the VMAX right here, but uh, yeah, I don't have the regular one. But yeah, I couldn't find a regular one to show you guys. But guys, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. I'll get more of these products in the future so you can see a better pull rate. We're also going to get some Shiny Star V as well. So if you want to see that, uh, that's coming in a week or two from Japan. So we're going to have tons and tons of stuff. 
But yeah, I guess from nine packs, this is all we got. Two, four promos, one pull. Uh, but yeah, hopefully when we open these boxes in the future, we'll get better pull rates. But guys, if you're new here, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.